So there are many different types of cancer rehabilitation. I like to think of it in four phases. We have the preventive phase, the restorative phase, supportive phase, and palliative phase. In the preventive phase, we talk more about things like prehabilitation. That's often a term that people will hear come up in conversation. And with prehabilitation, our focus is really on improving their baseline function. Where can we intervene as rehab specialists to uh, improve exercise, improve their overall nutrition level, and really help build this functional cushion as they're getting ready for their cancer treatments. In the restorative phase, this is more the traditional rehab model. So we think of examples like with neuro-oncology, where patients have um, tumors in their brain or their spinal cord, and they've now had a brain injury or spinal cord injury. We're really focused then on restoring as much function as we can through rehab services, getting them in with our physical and occupational therapists, uh, identifying any barriers to their engagement in therapy, and really helping regain the function that was lost. With supportive phase of cancer rehabilitation, that's focused more on preserving function, working on maintaining what their level of function is so that that way we're slowing any kind of decline that they might be subject to. So with that, we're really focused on improving their uh, baseline function, keeping it where it is, prescribing therapies, uh, working to identify any barriers to them engaging in exercise, prescribing durable medical equipment to support that their function and really maintain their quality of life where it is. So the palliative phase of cancer rehab is really more focused on end-of-life care, optimizing someone's quality of life, and, and helping support their function. The idea there is really we want to allow that family member to engage with their loved ones for as long as possible. So social function is top priority. We also work with training family members to give them the necessary skills to be able to take care of their loved one, to transfer them safely, to provide the nursing care for them, and really help them be well prepared for uh, their family member ending the end of days.